my three minute histology here with Jamie Chapman. Today we're going to go right back to the basics of having a look at stains and what stains can tell you about slides. So how you begin to interpret your slides, even from this basic low magnified view of, of a slide. So uh, what the different stains mean, what they stain and how you can begin your interpretation. So let's start our three minutes. So one of the most common stains which you uh, probably uh, come up against when you're doing histology is H&E. Now the H part of H&E uh, st stands for hematoxylin. And now you have to excuse my handwriting here because I'm writing with a mouse. Hema... Oh, this is awful. <laughs> hematoxylin. Okay, so the H part of um, H&E is hematoxylin, and hematoxylin acts like a base, so it's actually attracted to the acid part of cells and tissues. And so when we think about what makes up a cell, we know that the cell is made up of this nucleus, and then we've got all these organelles in the cytoplasm, and that nucleus is made up of DNA with the uh, A part of DNA meaning acid, deoxyribonucleic acid. The other part of acids which we find uh, within the cell are RNA, things like the nucleolus, and ribosomes are the most common areas of, of uh, RNA. So hematoxylin tends to be, be attracted to the nuclei, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, the ribosomes, polyribosomes, things like that, the nucleolus within the nucleus. The E part of uh, hematoxin eosin um, is the uh, H and E is eosin, as I just said, eosin. Eosin is an acid stain, so it's attracted to uh, the uh, proteins, uh, so or the the base parts of proteins which exist within um, cells. So. Uh, it's attracted to proteins, and so we know within each cell, proteins may exist in a number of different regions. They may be secretory proteins, but the largest component of proteins within a cell is, of course, the cytoskeleton, the, the skeleton of the cell which is holding it all together. So things like microtubules, intermediate filaments, microfilaments, all throughout the cytoplasm are being stained by eosin. So that's why often we see the cytoplasms of cells being stained quite pink, or acidophilic, or eosinophilic is another term which we use for those, and the nucleus being basophilic, um, which means that it's base loving, it's attracting the basic stain like hematoxylin. So we then use those terms as adjectives. So for example, in this section, this is a section of the small intestine cutting cross section with a little bit of the pancreas over here on the right hand side. We can see this big pink band of tissue on the outside. This is smooth muscle. And because it's pink, we would say it's being stained by eosin. Therefore, this tissue is eosinophilic or acidophilic. It's acid loving. It's attracting the acid stain. Whereas if we have a look at the inner tissue, this inner part here, we can see it's quite purple, isn't it? So that's actually basophilic. It's attracting the basic stain. So just by looking at these different stains, we can see the time is going off now, um, we can actually begin to interpret uh, 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 just a little bit about the structure and makeup of these uh, tissues that are present on this slide. Anyway, that's a little bit of an introduction to staining. I hope you found that useful.